always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it. Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving. Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact. Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track. Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on. Feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along. Push myself to be the best, die with no regrets. Live with every breath, see my message start to spread And I had so many dreams, then you hit your teens I think really what it seems, try to find out what it means Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Yeah, I put out all the start, it's my only medicine, yeah Everything I do, I'm just being genuine, yeah I'm sick of being screwed Feel my own adrenaline, yeah I do just what I do And I hope you let me in, let me in, yeah I'm grateful, oh yeah Able, oh yeah I'm stable, oh yeah No label, oh yeah You know me, I have only the best I'm lonely Okay, love, I want the real stuff Everybody listen up, cause I'll only say it once I'm gonna show you all the path If you want it bad, I'm gonna show you where it's at Yeah, how you can get it back Yeah, cause I ain't never done I'll be number one Working hella hard until I get just what I want Yeah, rise just like the sun Yeah, fatal like a gun Shooter's gonna shoot and I'm gonna shoot until I fall yeah. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow Till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's I just wanna keep moving Yeah, I put out all the start It's my only medicine, yeah Everything I do, I'm just being genuine Yeah, I'm sick of being screwed Feel my own adrenaline Yeah, I do just what I do And I hope you let me in, let me in, yeah Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome. So I was... I was debating whether or not to go live today because yesterday I had talked about Betty and her speculation and just, as we heard, saying really awful, disgusting things. And thankfully, late last night, Carly was found. And I am going to go over the press release from law enforcement, and then I do have a video that I will show as well. And so I actually had this scheduled and then I canceled it last night because I was like, I don't want to disrespect Carly in any way by talking about this heifer. And then I thought about it. Well, there was two reasons why I decided to go live again. The first reason is that Betty and her cronies are still trying to prove that I am burnt toast or you could say burnt toast is me. They are, they are alluding to the fact that we are the same person with the same voice. And I listen to their proof. And having my voice next to burnt toast voice, you can tell we are not the same person. My voice is a little bit deeper than burnt toast. And I talk slower than burnt toast. So I just thought, you know what? I'm going to go live because yeah, exactly blank screen. The Sims are stu too stupid to realize that. And burnt toast has been around much longer than me. I didn't start my page until 
JJ, which I think was, I don't even remember. It wasn't that long ago. And whatever they can, they can just keep trying, but I'm telling Betty and her simps or whoever is trying to prove it. It's not provable because we're not the same person. Yeah, they are. Oh, that's nice. Dolly doxed a little girl this morning on his live by showing her picture. What little girl? Like, it was it a case? Or because Betty also uses TikTok videos in her intro and outro. Well, the outro is an older, older, older guy. But you're using other people's content. And isn't that what you claim that we're doing with yours? Yeah, they're similar. Like there was some things like some things I say or some things that Burnt Toast say, I was like, oh, I kind of, you know, kind of sounds the same, but we definitely, we say um a lot. Maybe that's why they think we're the same person because sometimes when we, for, we're, when we're thinking about what we want to say, we're like, um, I mean, if that's all they got, then you know what? It's kind of like, you know, the bullies in school. If you agree with them, there's nothing else they can do because, I mean, if I say, yeah, you're right, I'm burnt toast, what what are they going to do? Are they going to start proving that I'm not burnt toast? It's just, it's just crazy. That's like saying glare and morbid are same person. I would have guessed they were. I believe they sound very similar. And here's the thing. Blowhard thought that one of her callers was the glare. She truly thought it was the glare and it was not. So we all know how her voice recognition system works, which is very poorly. Uh, pantless toast. Love it. And is that a picture of Betty? <laughs> it's your thumbnail. It's hard to see because it's so little, but oh my gosh, that is awesome. So here's the thing, Pantless Toast, another video that they have proving that Burnt Toast and I are the same person is the panel that I was on during Burnt Toast Live. So they have Burnt Toast and I talking on Burnt Toast panel, and they're using that to prove we are the same person. Yes. So let me just go back quick. I'm going to say hi to a few people and then we'll get started. So Laura, hello, Barbie, Wise Angel. All Betty had Carly gone, never to return. Well, she was wrong. Pascal has had his live on now. Carly has been returned home and is now in hospital. Yes. Yes. And she, I don't know if, blank screen I'll remember because I don't remember but she's been posting on TikTok. She's not posting on YouTube. I don't think she's done a video yet saying Carly was found. Actually, she did. She did. I like, because now I remember, she's trying to say that Betty is saying that Carly duped. She feels duped by what Carly did. And it's like, Bish, it's not your place to feel duped. Why? Because you spent two hours ranting and raving and making stuff up. And so that actually I got, I got off on a tangent, but that was the second reason I decided to go live. And that is because this is why I hate speculation. I hate rumors. I hate people making things up based on what their minds want them to see, especially with that video, the car surveillance video. I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. Like, yes, I did see the car door open. I saw someone walk behind the car. That's it. And some of the things that Betty says throughout the rest of her live are completely false. And so I decided I have some clips. So we're not going to watch the whole rest of the live because a lot of it is just her watching the car video after people were telling her about it for about an hour. 
And then she realizes, oh, everything I said was not true. Yet does she admit that what she said was wrong? Nope. She just keeps on going with her narrative. So that's the second reason why I decided to go live. Uh, let's see. Who else? True Crime Dime. Good morning. Lindsay. Lady Pants. Patricia. Blink, as always. That dude. Wonder how this lady feels about Blowhard. Uh, she doesn't feel like an idiot. She actually kind of doubled down and was like, it was a hoax. That's, I think, and I would, I was going to play the TikTok videos, but then Blank and I were, were messaging this morning and Blank actually did a video of all of her TikToks that she's posted from last night and maybe this morning. <clears throat> I'm thinking it was last night because she had the same shirt on. Definitely go check out Blank Screen's video. He has all of her TikToks in a nice little video and you can, you can make your own judgments and own opinions, but she pretty much is saying that, uh, I'm not even going to say it. You can make your own, you can make your own judgments on it. Turtle Lou, good morning, Davis fam, CK, how's Philly treating you? Lisa, Lisa, are you still in Roswell? I know you sent me, oh, you sent me an email with pictures. I don't think I even looked at it. I need to remember to look at your, the email you sent me. Bash, good morning. Sinner, as always. Petunia. Stella Bella, good morning. Felony Melanie will be listening. Well, great to have you. And your text, along with Patricia, came in at 1111, so I hope you all made a wish. Laugh at life. Hi. What? They make a boob pillow? What? What? <laughs> okay. All right. Another griff she'll miss out on. Yes. And so now I'm curious, Blank, what she's going to be saying now. What she'll, she'll want to... grift for. Outlaw, good morning. So Outlaw, where are you these days? You've been, you've been busy. We haven't seen you much. No wire hangers. Hi. No worry. I was, I was late too. I was actually over in crime and fashions chat. Um, and she was, she was going off on a few people. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to push it back because she's so sweet. She didn't realize I had a live scheduled, so she scheduled hers at the same time. And then I got a notification that she was early, and I'm one of her mods. So I went over there, and she's like, oh, Emmy, you know, I saw you were going live. I didn't even look, so I just pushed mine forward. And I was like, you didn't have to do that, you know? And so I just pushed mine back 10 minutes because I was in there supporting Lisa and having having fun hearing her call out some tragedy pimps. Cheese, good morning. Angel. Patches. Oh, I'm way behind. Okay, so let me just, I want to try to go fast. I'm like 10 minutes behind in chat. Um, crime time, good morning. That is true, Felony Melanie. A lot of people say, um, that proves nothing. Well, we're not talking about very smart people, so. Her sims like Mike Stevens and Robin that be in your comments. Why they won't call her out with the nonstop doxing of people. I mean, I, I don't know why they don't call her. Well, I mean, I can understand why they don't call her out because she's a jerk. However how they can support someone who continues to do that is crazy. Oh, BHB tried this last year. Toasty paneled up with who Betty was saying was her. Also, tube top docs that same lady. Yes, I did see that on Veda's. Uh, well, actually, it wasn't Veda's video. It was Burnt Toast reviewing Veda. So I did see that. And I mean... They're nuts. 
Tiffany, good morning. True Texan. It, I don't believe it was a hoax. We don't know what it was. It's not my place to speculate or to judge Carly for, for what may or may not have happened. The, the important thing is she's safe and she is receiving, you know, medical treatment. That's what's important. Deborah, good morning. FSU girl. Did she dirty? It was on TikTok. So that's why I know I actually commented on one of Blank Screen's posts this morning. And so then we were chatting and that's what I had said. You know, she's got, she had like, she had like five, five or six TikToks in regards to Carly and four of them were from last night where she was continuing to just make up stuff. She was stalking Carly's social media accounts. She was trying to, you know, make some type of story up about tweets that Carly had made the night she went missing. And then she made a video of Carly being found and then saying, you know, I feel duped. I feel duped. And it's like, bish. So definitely in blank screen, if you want to drop your link, feel free. Definitely go check out blank screen's video. It's not very long, but it is a compilation of her recent TikToks that now is on the internet forever. So no dirty deleting this time around. Petal, good morning. T. Berry. Exactly. Hey, Granny's watching. I haven't been to your. I haven't been over to watch you in so long. Um, but I do. I do stop in every so often. But I'm very distractible, so I don't. I don't really stay in one place very long. But thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Colin, good morning. She looks like a fiend in her TikToks. That's a younger crowd over there. So actually, one of her TikToks. And I don't, I think it's because she's, she's tag stuffing, which I guess TikTok doesn't care about. I don't know. I don't do TikTok very often. I just post my YouTube videos over there, but let me just look. One of them had, so this one where she's looking at Carly's TikTok, or TikTok, she looked at Carly's Twitter page and is trying to make. News. Her, this, this doesn't seem right. So her update where law enforcement had released a new photo of Carly without her wig so that people would know what she looked like without, without it and just braids that has over 310,000 views. That is obscene compared to the other ones. And then the one where she, I'm pretty sure she stole someone else's content to do this close up, but with the car video, she has about 25,000 views. So some of these are like the one that got over 300,000 views. I'm just going to look quick at what her, okay, stop talking, Betty. It's too early. It's too soon. Um, oh yeah, she's totally tag stuffing. So she, her tags for Carly are hashtag Carly, Carly missing, Carly Russell, Carly Russell missing, missing woman, mystery talk, true crime, crime talk, mystery, vanished, scary, FYP, FYP, some weird, uh, I don't even know what it is. FY page, boost, green screen, Alabama, Hoover, Hoover, Alabama, abducted, abduction. So that's why she's getting all of those views is because she's tagging like a tag whore. So yes, but nothing new as of now. She hasn't posted anything on TikTok as of late. Um, wrong screen. Beautiful nerd. Good morning. Oh, if you had one wish. Yeah, I'm way behind, but I'm catching up. Burnt Oma, good morning. FSU girl. So you don't, I don't know. I think you you do have to have an account to see her TikTok. But actually, if you have the link, I don't think you need TikTok. Um, 
but you don't have to worry about having TikTok because blank screen's got you covered. Oh, and I did read that from blank screen. Okay, so let me keep going. Petty Dragon Fruit. I'm not sure if I said good morning, but good morning. I know I saw one of your messages when I was quickly scrolling. Gail, good morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. Colin. Oh, you're new here. Well, welcome. Do we have a Grammy and Granny in chat? Uh, we have gra uh, We have Grannies watching. I don't know about Grammy. Yep, and uh, Blank Screen did post his link, so definitely check out his. Oh, Tribal Gal, good morning, and thank you so much. Burnt, burnt tots. Love it. And one should never burn tater tots because that is a crime in itself. Yes, of course, Betty had to make it by, about herself. We would expect nothing less. And the one thing about TikTok is I don't know how filters work on TikTok. But she's definitely not using any filters on TikTok. Sapper K, good morning. Fugitive recovery agent. That is quite the name. Good morning. Exactly. And we're going to get into that true crime dime. She was dropped off by... Well, I didn't even read that she was dropped off by someone. All law enforcement said is that she arrived home. Actually, they might have said more than that. Let me... We'll get to that in a minute. And we, I do have a news clip too that we're going to watch. So that might give us more. But again, and the car was left running door open, phone and wig. That all came from her parents. So again, I only deal with what law enforcement tells us. Of course, parents know things. However, I hadn't heard about the the car left running door open until yesterday. So again, I try not to, I hear a lot of things, but I don't want to be Betty. Oh no, you had a tornado touchdown in New Hampshire. Yeah. And we're under a flood warning again too. Like this, this rain is out of control. Well, and it was Thursday night. I was, I was doing a live and a tornado warning came up on my phone, a tornado warning alert. And I was like, what the heck? So I ended my live and went down to my basement with the spiders. And thankfully, nothing nothing happened. But a house a few towns north of me actually did get struck by lightning. Facebook is acting up more than YouTube. Oh, you didn't know Carly was found. Yes, she was. Yes. Praise the universe. Absolutely. Yeah, she overtags. But that's the thing, Blank. That's why she she posts those things on her community page like, oh, I'm, you know, look at all the views I have. Yeah, because what happens is when someone does hashtag crime talk, for example, they're going to swipe through all of those. So even if someone doesn't actually watch her video, it still counts as a view. And sometimes you don't have a choice to what, like if you're just swiping on TikTok, you don't have a choice to what you're watching. It just appears. So, I mean, I think it's all relative, but that's my opinion. Oh, I don't think that's her real brother, True Crime Dime. Because her brother actually passed away. And I did watch the... <clears throat> I don't know why my throat is so wacky today. Um, I did see that video, but it's the guy with the longer braids. I did see that. And I believe he's just referring to her as his sister. Because of, you know, the cultural relevance. I mean, she might have another brother. But I know based on her Facebook page, her brother passed away. Sherry, hi. Yes, I, I guess I just made that up. So, hey, Heels, how are you? Yeah, exactly. 
Well, and that's the thing, beautiful nerd. At least on YouTube, they say only the first three hashtags actually matter. However, you can click on a hashtag and find other videos with that hashtag. So I guess, you know, algorithm wise, it's not going to help. But if someone wants to find something, say hashtag Bullhorn Betty, if I click on that hashtag, it's going to show me everything related to Betty. Kelly Ford, good morning. Oh my gosh, tater tots are so good. Oh my gosh, me too. And I know some people make tater tot casserole. It's It doesn't look appealing to me. I would rather just eat tater tots. Yes, I love them. All right, Ange Carter, good morning. I'm catching up. I'm almost there. Oh, jeez. That's my cue to exit, right? Oh, wise angel, I missed that. I may have tipped Buffon Betty over the edge with my community post asking the real burnt toast to please stand up. I missed that. Where did you... Oh, you post it on your page. Okay, so I'm going to have to go check that out. I didn't, I didn't see that. Oh, no, Davis fam. I hope everything's okay. That's scary. Oh, the news too? Okay, so we'll see. I was just going by the what the law enforcement had released, so... Granny, they have not. At least that I, I just looked before I went live to see if there were any updates. And the video I have was from an hour ago. I mean, there could be something new, but I figured an hour was pretty... Yes, it's on your page. Okay. I don't know, Patricia. She has the link. It's all, it's up to her. I sent her the link and said, if you want to join, feel free. Hey, Cheesy Weezy. Good to see you. Oh, I'm caught up. Perfect. Okay, so. First thing I'm going to do is to read the press release that law enforcement had released yesterday night, and this was at 11.30 p.m. So again, Hoover Police Department, and I, I am following them on Twitter because they said, you know, for any updates, follow them on Twitter. So missing person Carly Russell has been located at 10.45 p.m., the Hoover 911 Center received a call that Carly returned home to her residence. Police responded to the scene to investigate this latest development in the case. Hoover fire medics responded to the scene to assess Carly and transported her to a local hospital for evaluation. Additional information will be provided when it becomes available. So that was the news release from Hoover PD. So I do have... Whoops. A video. This is from WVTM 13. First, we want to get right out to WVTM 13's Maddie Davis. Oops. I didn't mean to click First, that. we want to get right out to WVTM 13's Maddie Davis. Now, Maddie, Carly Russell returned home last night, days after she vanished from the side of I-459 in Hoover. So what else do we know about her return? Well, Magdala, Hoover police tell us they received a call uh, that Carly had returned home to her house here in Hoover. However, those details uh, surrounding her uh, disappearance still remaining unclear this morning and uh, police began investigating when she was reported missing Thursday night and after 
That was after receiving a call from her saying she saw a toddler on the interstate. A search for her continuing through the weekend, but ending around 1045 last night when police got that call that Carly was home. Hoover PD responding to the scene to investigate fire medics also providing or arriving to assess Carly and transport her to the hospital. And what from what we uh, were last told, Carly remains in the hospital this morning. Her return to home ending a 48 hour search grabbing national attention. Again, those uh, circumstances surrounding her disappearance still unclear this morning. We're hoping to he uh, hear from officials here with Hoover PD soon, but we will, of course, keep you updated on this. Live in Hoover this morning, I'm Maddie Davis, WBTN 13. Well, thank you, Maddie. All right, so that is the latest that has come out. So again, I don't know. I know there's probably other articles and things like that. However, I didn't have time this morning to really search around. And that was from an hour ago. So I, I took it that that would be one of, one of the most up-to-date reports. And again, I, I don't deal with, I heard, I deal with, this is what law enforcement said. This is what was actually reported. So if you have any articles, please send them to me. And, and again, tire tracks, listen, Uh, I can't get that on StreamYard. I can't get that link on StreamYard. So you'll have to email me links because I can't, when I'm in StreamYard, I can't click on them. All right. And with tire tracks being found, I pull off the side of the highway all the time. And I've said before, I make sure I go into the grass because I don't want someone to hit me from behind. So in my opinion, tire tracks mean nothing. But again, I'm playing devil's advocate and I will do more research on this. But at this point, I am, that's, that's all I've got about Carly. And until law enforcement, I did check Hoover Police Department Twitter before I went live, and that was the latest on their Twitter page. So if police have been, have been quoted as saying that, then I need to see it because they haven't posted it on their Twitter, and they have said in the press conference that that's where the public should go for more information. But I will check again. Yes. So just so that, you know, CYA. This is the Hoover Police Department Twitter page. And this was two hours ago. Carly Russell located. So that's what I just read to everybody was this press release. So that's what I was sharing. And then the last one was from the 14th and then the press conference. So I'm going by law enforcement. But yes, if you have any articles, please, I can't see the links in chat. So please email me because putting them in chat isn't, isn't going to be helpful, at least for me. Okay, so what we're going to do is I do have some clips that I put together on Betty's Live from yesterday. And the reason, again, the reason I chose to do this, and again, I was torn because Carly's been found, and I didn't want to disrespect her or her loved ones in any way. However, after I thought about it, 
I thought it was important to show why speculation and rumors, and I heard this, I, I heard that. For example, someone was in a chat room that I was in yesterday and said, so-and-so, another creator played the 911 call. Well, the 911 call hasn't been released. So, me being me, I went and investigated. They said who the creator was, went to the creator's page, started listening. It wasn't the 911 call. It was the scanner call that had been recorded. And it was found on Twitch and it was put behind a paywall. So someone had recorded the call, probably not realizing they had it, and put it on Twitch and was selling it to people. In my opinion, that is vulgar and repulsive. So, and then this creator had it in their title that they had the 911 call. They did not. So, I mean, if you, if you don't know how, how I do things by now, I mean, I just, I, I don't, I don't feed into speculation. I heard, I saw, give me, give me, give me hard proof where you found it. And then I'm going to go investigate and then I will decide because in this case, the 911 call was not a 911 call, but this person who was saying that probably went to other creators lives and chats and said the same thing and then you have more and more people believing something that's not true so yes yes glare i am the alleged 911 call but it was not a 911 call because i i recorded the creators live so that i could listen to it later and it was it was it was dispatch talking to it was a scanner call. So it was when the call came in. It wasn't the actual 911 call. It was dispatch, dispatching law enforcement to the scene. Yes. Oh, we must have been watching this. Oops. Well, Rowena, I didn't mean to click on you, but there you go. You also answered Claire as well. Um, I meant to post click this one. We must have been watching the same channel. Yes. There's much, there's a much different, it's a lot different to say dispatch versus 911. There's a huge difference. And, but then again, you know, yeah. I agree. It is a gross thing to exploit. And I don't have Twitch, so I couldn't go and check. I don't even know how Twitch works. However, it was, it was stated that for a price you could get the, the audio recording. And I got it for free because I just screen recorded the person who allegedly paid in order to get it. Oh, have a good day, Krabby McCrabface. Good to see you. And I love that name. I saw you in Lisa's chat. Um, I love that, that name. All right. So, hey, burden of proof. Yes, 100% a difference. Yes. So, again, if you have anything that you, any articles things like that. Send them to my email, but I'm not reading anything until I read it myself. And that's just, that's just the way I roll over here. Yeah. As far as I know, what you're saying is accurate. It's a dispatch caught on a scanner. Nothing more. We still don't know any accurate circumstances of her disappearance or her recovery. Absolutely. And that is what I'm saying. Yes. And so, I don't know, maybe it's the, you know, the fact with my education, um, but I have to research everything before I report on it. It's like me, you know, for my master's thesis, just, just writing a master's thesis on what I've heard or saw and having no, no evidence to support it. You know, I would have probably not graduated because <laughs> they'd be like, where's your proof? Where's your proof? Um, so before we get into Betty, and thank you for those of you being here. We have almost 200 people in here. What? 
I, I chose, I wasn't, I was going to do a live, so I had it scheduled and then I deleted it. So I was like, Carly's been found. I'm not going to talk about blowhard again because I don't want to disrespect Carly or her loved ones. Well, then I received notice that blowhard and her cronies or simps have another video out there trying to prove that burnt toast and I are the same person. And so I was like, okay, did they not learn from my live yesterday that I am not burnt toast? Clearly not because they're still, they're ch still trying to make fetch happen. So that's why I also included in my title today, fetch not happening. So, and so I listened to the, the, the audio comparison we sound nothing alike. Nothing. And the fact that they're trying to, to, to prove that we are, I mean, if they, if they want me to say I'm burnt toast, I'll, I'll say I'm burnt toast, but I'm not. And then the second reason I chose to go live is because Blowhard is over on TikTok claiming that she was duped by Carly and that it's a hoax. So that kind of made me a little angry. Not as angry as I was yesterday, which if you haven't subscribed to Tiger Talks, if someone can actually drop Tiger Talks link in the chat, Tiger Talks actually was in my live yesterday when I, I was saying very bad words. And she put together a video that I, I couldn't stop watching it. I watched it over and over because the way she her the way she puts it together, like the production. She had all of these cool stickers and, and words, emojis. It was, it was awesome. And she has me talking really fast, which makes it even funnier because I'm saying very bad words. So definitely check out Tiger Talks because she clipped where, yeah, YouTube's Toast Wanted. There we go. And, um, oh, you're, you're sweet. Yes. And thank you, True Crime Dime, for dropping that link. Yep. And, oops. Exactly. And Blank Screen did do a video of all of her most recent TikToks. You can be, you know, you can be the judge of what you think, but I think the words speak for themselves. Yes. So we are going to check out... Whoops, I hit the wrong thing. Just a few clips, and I I cut over some of it, but I, I wanted to sh also show she spent two hours, two hours, talking about Carly's case. All of it was speculation and assumptions. Because she did read an article. Well, let me let me strike that. She read two sentences of an article, one of which she read the sentence incorrectly. So I'm going to say that 0%, well, okay, I'll, I won't say 0%. 1% of her video was accurate. Carly was missing, and the circumstances as to why she disappeared were very concerning and suspicious. I'll give her that. Everything else was pure speculation. Oh, first YouTube experience via laptop. Blah, blah. Laptop. I could actually click the link yet still listen in. I feel I might like this. Oh, yes. Exactly. Cheesy wheezy. And... I actually did a short and I'm thinking I might delete it because again, Carly's been found and it was, it was about the reward. She said there was a $25,000 reward that was being offered by the family. It was not being offered by the family. It was being offered by an anonymous donor in Crime Stoppers. So it's those small details that in my opinion matter. She may not think they matter, but they do. Words matter. 
facts matter. And if you're going to be in true crime, you need to tell the truth. It's in the name. And that's just my opinion. So I do want to thank Bash for sending me the downloaded file. I'm hoping that because I'm not using Google Slides, this will work better. But again, as you know, my internet is trash. So fingers crossed. And it will take a minute. I know it took a minute when I was doing it earlier. Um, so in the meantime, I'm just going to say hello to more people coming in. And actually, good morning, Naglera. I didn't say good morning to you either. I just saw your comment. We see Cup. Hello. Tribal gal. Let's just talk real quick. Um How rude. I was talking, Betty. Um, yeah, well, Claire, it's the same thing. She thought you were the, the person on the phone. Like she legit thought you had called her and she didn't, she doesn't listen because the caller said that their name was not yours and they were from Pittsburgh. And then she's like, oh, are they from Georgia or Tennessee? And then she looks and she's like, oh, it's Pittsburgh. No shit, Sherlock. They told you that. <laughs> like. Clean out your ears. Clean out your ears. All right. So let's let's see. So this is about... Oh, so I started it here because we had left off here, well, a little bit after here yesterday. She, she is going to tell us about best practices. What we should do if we should see a toddler walking down the side of the highway. And so she got through, I think, one or two best practices. And then I was like, wait, where's the rest of them? As always, she gets off on a tangent. And I don't know what she says because I just kind of cut out the parts I knew that would probably be boring. But yes. About best practices, right? Best practices. So you guys are driving down the road, do, 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 right? You're, you're done with your day. You're happy you're off work. You know, it, it's Thursday night. You, your tomorrow's going to be Friday. You're really happy. You're, you're, you just seen friends. You got a picture where you're like, hey, you know, just everything is normal. You're just driving down the road and you see a child on the side of the road. This is my suggestion. Okay. You have to make sure, in my opinion, now I don't know, I, I'm not going to get into the legal conversation of this because in all fairness, uh, anybody can be liable for anything. That's why some people, they even tell, told us when I was going to school to be a paralegal, they're like, you know, it, it's horrible because it, it, like for a lay person to give somebody else mouth to mouth resuscitation, do you know if you break a rib when you're giving them chest compressions, they can sue you? When you're trying to save your life now, Brandon. Dang it. I knew I was forgetting to do something. So I I knew I wanted to look up Good Samaritan laws. And I totally forgot because Lisa went live, Crimes and Fashion. So if anybody can drop her link for me, that would be great too. And I was watching her and I totally forgot to look up Good Samaritan laws. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna speak on what she's saying because I didn't have time to look it up, but I thought that Good Samaritan laws protected people from that. But again, I didn't have time to look it up. It could be state by state. So I would probably look up Georgia because this is where, or not Georgia. Oh my gosh, what am I thinking? Alabama, because this is where it happened. But again, I'm not, I'm just going to let her roll with that because I didn't, I forgot to look it up. And if people usually don't, but they can. So the reason why I'm telling you that is because the advice I'm going to provide um, may not be, uh, you know, the, I, I'm not speaking from a legal standpoint. My legal standpoint would be to call law enforcement and go and make sure you're safe. Um, but my moral stance on that 
would be much different. It would be that you you have a duty to make sure that child is safe. So um coming from the lady who says not all children are worth saving. Okay. Okay, you sent me Discord message. Burden burden approved. Do you want me to look at it now? Cuz I can. I don't have Discord running on my computer because my computer hates me when I do that. Um but if I need to check it, I'll check it on my phone. And oh, that's what I was going to say. So, what I would do again, I don't of course, morally, if I see a child walking down the highway, I'm going to stop. And am I going to get out of my car? Probably not because I am paranoid. I know bad things happen. I, I mean, although I do, I do have, you know, mace, I have a bear whistle, you know, I have other things, but I, I don't really know what I would do in that situation. I could lose all, you know, paranoia and choose to help that child. I mean, ethically, I feel like I, I, I would need to. There's legal obligations and moral obligations, and my moral compass would override my legal um, processes, right? Because it's a a four-year-old child. I'm a female, right? I love kids. So there is no <laughs> if, hands, or buts about, am I going to stop and help this kid? But here's where the legality comes in. It would be my professional, no, I'm not going to say professional. Oh. Opinion, it's going to be my personal opinion that your best, oh. your best, the best advice I can give you is to put that child into your. I, I feel the same way, Glare. And that's one of the things, you know, after seeing, so I had a lot of questions and then when I saw the CCTV from the interstate, there was allegedly, you know, and law enforcement did say this, possible a possible witness saw a gray car pull in front of Carly's and a light complected male standing out like outside her car. Well, then when I saw the video, I was like, there's no car that pulls up in front of hers. I don't see any other person standing there. So now I'm even more confused. And then the other thing I was thinking is, well, if she saw a child on the walking along the interstate, why did she drive on the shoulder for so long? Like the fact that there was no timestamp on that surveillance video that was my first clue. Okay, don't look too much into this because we don't even know if that's the actual time that the 911 call came in. Obviously, police came in, you know, at the end, but that could have been any incident. That's just my opinion. Your car. Put that child into your car to make sure it doesn't run out in front of... Um, in front of traffic that could get some people in trouble right putting a, an unknown child in your car but if you sit there there's no intent so i'm not going to give legal advice on this i'm just going to say best practices what's the safest thing to do and that's to keep your recorder on at all times record everything be a betty right be a betty you know people laugh at me for <laughs> always recording everything when i'm out and about you know what if she would have had that recorder on, they would have seen that individual, they would have seen that car, and they would have most likely had a tag plate. Take a picture of that child and send it to, um, to a family friend and some other photos that you can safely click, 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 send, send, send. I've already called law enforcement. I just wanted you to have some information, right? It's an extraordinary situation. It's an extraordinary situation, right? So you've got this situation where you see a kid on the side of the road you want to help my first thing is is to help put that child in your car because you don't know if that child will jet jet out in front of cars and the last thing you need to see is a four-year-old child 
being hit by a vehicle. It, it, it is one of the most, it, it, you don't need to see that. So it'd be mine. Call the cops first. Of course, Pebbles. But she did call the cops first. At that point, she should have made sure her and this child were safe. And I'm pretty sure she did. I heard that she did put this child in her car. Okay. So there was something there. Could that, could that act, her putting that child in the back of her car caused an, an additional, this. Wait, hold on. I was distracted by chat. Let me just back up a little bit. Or you see a kid on the side of the road, you want to help. My first thing is, is to help put that child in your car because you don't know if that child will jet, jet, jet out in front of cars. And the last thing you need to see is a four-year-old child being hit by a vehicle. It, it, it is one of the most, it, it, you don't need. Okay. So first off, I think I know I, I, she did say what I thought she said, but first off, it has never been said that this child was four years old, Betty. So again, we, we don't know anything except for what I've read so far, because again, I am going by what law enforcement has told us. And that most recent news clip that I played, they didn't know anything else either than what law enforcement had reported. So nowhere did law enforcement say that this was a four-year-old child. But again, she has it in her mind that it was a four-year-old child. Need to see that. So it'd be mine. Call the cops first. Of course, Pebbles. But she did call the cops first. At that point, she should have made sure her and this child were safe. And I'm pretty sure she did. I heard that she did put this child in her car. Okay. So there was. You believe she put the child in her car. Again, this is why making shit up is very dangerous. Nowhere did it say that Carly put the child in her car. Nowhere. And Betty wouldn't know that because she didn't read jack shit something there could that could that act her putting that child in the back of her car caused an, an additional this person freaking out or something like that probably not i think that this was a setup i don't know why i have that just a, that gut feeling that this was a setup and she wasn't specifically targeted but that area or that stretch of roadway was and i, I and, and, and in that theory you know comes along and mind you just because i was in chat trolling Mind you, people at this point were telling her that the CCTV surveillance had been released by a local news outlet. She was either ignoring it or didn't see it. I'm going to go with the former because there were many people saying, play the video, watch the video, play the video. Along with you know, are there um, street cameras? You know, on interstates, they usually have some type of traffic surveillance, right? To make sure that, um, and that's what they call it, traffic surveillance, because they don't want to say they're spying on the people, right? Um, they, they have traffic surveillance. So those are those little times. And in case you forgot why we're listening to this clip, Betty was giving us best practices if one of us should see a toddler walking alongside the highway. Any cameras on top of those poles as you go down the interstate that are like a little bubble. They're watching everything. They're watching everything. Those are those are those those are what uh, helps. Believe it or not, there are big, 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 big buildings, right? And these buildings have huge, huge um, um screens tv screens computer screens and everything and on those has nothing but street views all these cameras are on all these walls and you can see the traffic and you can see the flow of traffic you can actually see accidents happen in real life on these cameras in this building there are people that man them and watch them believe it or not it's not just a recording there are people they are watching this that's their only job sit there and look so I keep wanting to know. Sorry, y'all. That was my fault. <laughs> All right, Betty, you can continue. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Uh, 
Oh, Professor Toasty. And actually, let me just back up a little because, again, I was distracted by chat. When she... <laughs> I feel like someone was trolling her with a comment they make, but the response she gives is, <laughs> is, is classic, Betty. It's not just a recording. There are people there watching this. That's their only job. Sit there and look. So I keep wanting to know, was this area targeted because of the lack of cameras? There are a lot. And again, people are telling her, Betty, the camera was released. Betty, play the video. A lot of things. The if this is what I think it could be, and I haven't I haven't stated one position or the other, but there's definitely something that doesn't smell right here. Mm. But if it is this, if it is this ST, they are very sophisticated people. They've done this many, many times before. This would not be their first rodeo. These things would go into their decision making. Where cameras are, where they're least obscured. But the good news is there's cameras somewhere. And there's cameras somewhere in that general vicinity that's going to ID that gray car. Now, granted, it's going to be another. It may take, you know, a month to ID the vehicle. But I do believe there is something around there. He had to go somewhere. This day and age, it's hard to go anywhere without being spotted by some type of camera. What if the child is small person and... Okay, this, <laughs> this part is so funny. <laughs> and I don't remember. Let me take the comment down because I don't know if she puts the comment on, on the screen. But this is really funny. I've got to say this is really funny. Pulls a knife. Four-year-old? No, 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 no. I ID that gray car. Now, granted, it's going to be another. It may take, you know, a month to ID the vehicle. But I do believe there is something around there. He had to go. All right, let me pause. What did Glare say? I missed it. At a cocktail party making conversation, what do you do for a living? I'm a street car watcher. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds sophisticated. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Somewhere. This day and age, it's hard to go anywhere without being spotted by some type of camera. What if the child is small person and pulls a knife? Four year old? No, 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 no. I, I, it's hard. I mean, think about it. Even small persons, we, their faces are very much age. Their skins are very much age. I, I've met a lot of small people in my life, in my dealings, and going across the country, going around the state of Florida. I've met a lot of small people. And, you know, you, you can tell the difference of a small child versus a small person. And and just before I, <laughs> before I play, because I did hear this part, before I play how you can, you can decipher a small person from a small child, just in the chat, just humor me. What do you think her answer is going to be? She should be arrested for fraud on that filter alone. Well, if you look at if you look at her TikTok videos, you will see just how filtered she is on YouTube. Okay, so T Berry says height. Runs with scissors says old. Stella Bella his face. Cheesy Wheezy isn't going to cheat. Okay, very honest of you. Very respect respectable. Facial hair, the face. Yes. Sinner, please add little person expert to her CV, please. No diaper. Oh, that's a good one, Truth Junkie. Yes, she did the glare. And I really hope you you go live with this because I cannot wait to hear your um, thoughts on this heifer. She will say they would have a vape and a beer. Okay, Bamalis said the same thing. If they're drinking a beer or not. 
She's been to Oz before to get a heart. Well, I mean, someone did say that she hung out with the, was it the lollipop gang? Is that what they were called? I say she's an, I call her an Oompa Loompa. I don't know. I just feel like she would do better with the chocolate factory than Oz, but that's just my opinion. All right. So here comes her reasoning as to how you can tell the difference between a small person and a small child. And the facial features are what gives it off the most. It really is. It's the face. It's the first thing you see. And you're talking about this uh, woman speaking to uh, this, this boy and asking him, you know, are you okay? She would have been close. And again, nowhere did it state that it was a boy, let alone a four-year-old boy. Also, Betty, it was 930 at night. Being able to see someone's face very well, I'm going to say, isn't that clear. But then again, I don't see good at night, so maybe it's just my eyes. But I feel like it would be difficult to see facial features at night. Close enough to to see the facial features. We can, I, I mean... I, <laughs> Oh, and that's where I ended it. So, um, I just saw a comment. Where did it go? It keeps jumping. Weird that commuters rely on real-time traffic reports to be on time for their real J-O abs, Betty. Jawabs. And... Oh, and I did skip that part, Stella. So I did post a video early this morning where she goes off on Pinocchio Princess. And so I, I'm not going to show that during this, this live, but I did do a video. I clipped it and did it as a video. So definitely check that out. That filter is better than beer goggles. <laughs> um. Yes, she thinks I am burnt toast. Yes, she does. Or vice versa. She thinks burnt toast is me. I mean, she thinks we're each other. Yes. And I, I don't know where that comment went. It was something about... Oh, here. It was the glare. Of course it was. A small person would probably be smoking a cigar and rambling about a pot of gold. She's right. I get it. <laughs> exactly. All right. So let's see. Nope. All right. I guess I'm going to have to keep it. Okay. So now this one we're moving, we're, we're jumping over. Cause right after about that part is where she goes off on Pinocchio princess. And she actually did this to slow. Fo so flow mama, she will see one comment and then she thinks that comment is why chat is, is doing what it's doing. Like she'll see one comment and be like, oh. So in this case, she saw one of her mods, ICU, say something that was not even about Pinocchio Princess. And so she went off on Prince, Pinocchio Princess. And then she's like, you know, maybe I missed something, but, and I'm like, yeah, you did, Betty. Um, so now this is, okay, so this is after her rant. So this Mr. J. Quinn, very, you know, smart guy, says, this is about a woman that is missing, not drama. Please, whoever causing it, let's think about what's more important. Very reasonable. Right. And... We never did get the full list of best practices. We only got two, two best practices that I know of. And then she kind of, you know, didn't tell us the rest. So. Oh, she thinks queen is nonsense. Oh, that's right. I remember that because she called the wrong person, Steph. Yep. I agree, Cheesy Wheezy, and that's their latest, the latest video that this, I don't know who it is, but they they posted 
is they have burnt toast talking, then me talking, then burnt toast talking, then me talking. And they're trying to allude to the fact that we're the same creator. And it's like, no, we're not. All right. So let's hope this is going to start. So maybe this... Let me try making it smaller. Maybe that'll work. Come on, you can do it, Betty. Jay Quinn bringing um, information, you know, bringing it real. This is about a missing woman. It's not about your petty, petty bull, bull stuff, right? Uh, it's not necessary. There's no drama needed. A woman needs our help. A woman needs YouTube. A woman needs social media to help. They are begging for all eyes on this lady and to help find her. It is our responsibility if we truly care about these people in these cases to spread her face and her name around and tell her story <clears throat> because this could have happened to any one of us and that should tear ev terrify everyone because don't sit but betty at least we'd still be alive right we'd still be alive that's what you said there on your high horse and say you and sorry, as I think it was in, I don't know whose chat, but I'm sorry. I would rather someone kill me than to have to be a part of ST. Just saying. I would rather be dead than have to endure that. You would have done something differently. You saw a little toddler on the side of the road. You know damn well you're going to stop. Wow. It could have been you. It could have been me. It could have been your sister, your daughter, your grandchild. It could have been any one of us. And whoever did this needs to needs to be found and taken off the street so they can't hurt another person. This is scary. And so are and you. This is serious. And so is so is she in all of the misinformation that she's presented and the misinformation she's about to present. A semi driver did 100% give a statement. A silver car pulled up and a light skinned male was getting out walking toward the child and Carly. Yes. No. No. And let me just go back to Hoover Police Department to their earlier press release. Uh, I don't think I can make that bigger. Okay. So this is where maybe they didn't have it in here. Dang it. Um, I know they had said it in the press conference. Maybe it was a question that they, oh no, it is in here. Okay. So, and I know this is really hard to see. I, I don't know how to make, actually, you know what? I do know how to make it bigger. Ah, there we go. Now we can all see it. So update on missing person, Carly Russell. So I'm not going to read all of this, but this is, oh, and I can't, I can't highlight it, but this sentence where my mouse is, this is what I want to read. A single witness reportedly, possibly, I think that's supposed to say possible, reported, oh no, that is right. A single witness reported possibly seeing a gray vehicle with a light complected male standing outside of Carly's vehicle. Nowhere does this statement say that 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 a truck driver reported possibly seeing a gray vehicle with a light complected male standing outside of Carly's vehicle talking to her and the child. And then they do say we have no further information about that individual or vehicle at this time. Oh, what did I miss? Oops. She's been on this weird I'm not racist campaign lately, but it screams how racist she actually is. It's kind of hilarious. 
And when she, so yesterday when I reviewed the first half of her live, she had brought up the light, light complected male, but then went right to, they can't be white or Hispanic. They have to be black. So in her attempt to not be racist, she's still being racist without knowing she's being racist. Yes. That's what makes me. Right. And so this, oh, and Steph, actually Steph is in chat, I think now. Um, yes. And that is not, I have not seen that to be true. But Steph, if you are still in chat, can you send me if you remember where you saw that? Because I would I would be interested in seeing it. And switchy. It's either that or this child lives close and he didn't like what Carly had to say about the child being on the side of the road. So something happened. She screamed. Did he pull out a gun, knife? This is serious. Did he pull out a gun or knife? Again, there is nothing to allude to that fact. Yes, we could we could ask that question. But again, that's just not that's just not me. I'm I I'm not one to just make shit up. Sinner. She thins her hair on purpose so her hood will fit more comfortably. Well, I did find an oldie but goodie video. Thank you to Beer Can Island that I I am going to post, but I'm still trying to get through the other stuff that I've clipped to to post. Oh, here's Pinocchio. Oh, this is also why I left this in here. So this is Pinocchio Princess, which. I only know her as Pookie. She emails me as Pookie, and I always forget what her name is in chat, and I apologize. I just, I remember Pookie, and I, I, I know your picture on your email. So this is where it's still going back and forth in chat. And Pinocchio Princess did not say anything rude. So she's saying, well, maybe you should not jump the gun because they were rude. I don't do nothing wrong. Ain't I part of the audience? Do you even know what happened? I didn't do anything. And again, that's what Betty does. And so now is here's her response. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm asking you kindly to let it go and move on. And I would think you would Again, I don't know you, but you're now coming after trying to be nasty to me. I can tell you that's not going to work if that's that if that conversation if that's toward me. But you didn't say at BHP, so I'm going to act like it. Maybe you were talking to somebody else. But nobody's here to beat you up, um, are you? I've never seen you here. I never even say good morning to you. When's the last time I, I, I do I do a list? I've never said your name ever. So how do you mean, unless you're, you're watching it, it to me sounds like you, you, you may not be here. And Pinocchio princess is there every day that I'm in there trolling. I have seen Pinocchio princess. So Betty wouldn't know because she only sees all of her mods posting her grift links because they, it's like overhaul lately. Every other comment will actually this live, she had almost 400 people in chat. But normally, every comment is one of her mods dropping a grift link. Uh, because you like the channel. Because you're starting and stirring up nonsense with my audience. This is my last time I'm going to address you. If you would like to conversate in the chat, you may. Do it kindly. I can tell you, <laughs> being nasty or rude to me, you're just going to be blocked. So again, Wusa, it's not that big of a deal. In the grand scheme of things, it's not that big.
And so I will say, when she said Wusa, I had to look it up. I didn't know what Wusa meant. I thought she made it up. I didn't realize that it's like the state of calm. So that's why I named my video earlier, Wusa, Pinocchio Princess. Because Betty said Wusa. And for, for her, of all people, to tell someone to Wusa is, is pretty classic in my opinion make a deal it's pretty petty so everybody just chill just chill no big deal play nice <laughs> play nice and you'll be put in the corner well, grab the missing person flyer or picture, pass it around, leave the drama at the door, please. This is about a missing woman. Thank you. I, I do appreciate that. So we're not going to continue to go down this. It is what it is. You know, it, it, everybody just chill. It's not worth it. At the end of the day, we are advocating for a missing woman. And trust me, I think her problems supersede anybody's problems in this room. Why? Because you guys know where you're at and you guys are breathing, right? So there is that. What? Hold on. I was distracted that? by chat. Let me just back up a little. Because what the hell? What did she just say? Or a missing woman. And trust me, I think her problems supersede anybody's problems in this room. Why? Because you guys know where you're at and you guys are breathing, right? So I did not hear that. I don't remember hearing it. So is she alluding to the fact that Carly had already passed on? Wow, Betty, we know where we're at and we're breathing. She's such a douchebag. Oh my God. So there is that. There is that. Is there? Hey, Team Brittany. I'm, I'm happy to see you. I know you said you were busy today, but I'm glad you stopped in. Yes, she did, Wise Angel, because she's a douchebag. Mm-hmm. A police phone call recording. Um, yes, it's my understanding that there is a record recording. They were very hush hush about that recording. They were very clinical about it. It. I. I, I doubt they're going to release it. I think it has some information on it. I don't know. I don't know. Um, you know those recordings that we do like on Messenger and stuff because she called her 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 family member and I just I'm praying to God that they. This is why. <laughs> Like, I hate big. Okay, so this is where she's, this is where I don't understand what, what her deal is. She was all serious about things I'm not going to repeat. And then she starts cackling and laughing. Like, nothing about this is funny at all. And Moon Rain, I love that name. I don't know who that is, but it reminds me of... River Phoenix. I don't know why Moon Rain reminds me of River Phoenix, but I loved River Phoenix growing up. But anyways, that's beside the point. So, so now she's cackling and laughing about brother, right? You guys know I complain about Big Brother all the time, right? So I hate Big Brother. Oh, and I probably cut her off because she went on some pointless rant that was going to take too much time. So the next one... I think this is where we get into the map. She starts giving us a map lesson and discusses the highway. And again, we'll just wait a minute. Oh, and my slide is off. I'm not going to fix it. But it does drive me nuts when I don't have my slides the way they should be. That is true, Bamalas. I agree with that. Dolly live doing parody sketch off that, and his voice is so bad it's like chalk on a board. What is he doing a parody of? I think I missed it. Bamalas, yeah. She went full circle kumbaya. Mm hmm.
Oh my God, look at her face. <laughs> if my computer wasn't, wasn't circling her nose, that would be a really good screenshot. She's like, I don't know, like just being defiant or something. All right, come on, Betty. You can do it, Betty. Very patronizing. Very. All right, now what are you doing? All right, give me a second, y'all. Let me... I don't know why this does this, but... Whenever I drop it from StreamYard, she starts talking. So we're going to try this again. Hey, Kathy P. How are you? Keep it 100. Hi. Who is that very old? Oh, I see. Never mind. It's BS buddy. <laughs> yes. All right. Come on, Betty. You can do it. All right. Well, we're waiting for her to get her shizn it together. BHB loves to smack, crackle, and pop, especially to her men. Oh, that's a good play on words. Chris B, welcome. She does look, and didn't I, didn't I send you, Sinner, didn't I send you the garbage pail? It was something Betty, right? Or did you send it to me? I can't remember. All right. What is happening here? Oh, of course. As soon as, uh, hold on everybody. I just completely left Betty. I think we were on slide three. Of course, as soon as I drop her from the, she starts talking. All right, so I'm going to have to figure out something. Maybe I do need to start grifting for a new computer because StreamYard does not like Google Slides. And I even asked Bash to download this video for me because I thought it was because I was going directly through YouTube with the links. However, it clearly is StreamYard and Google Slides that don't like each other. All right, so I'll just keep looking at chat until she decides she wants to talk. I think she looks like a troll doll with the wacky hair. that from the recording they can isolate all the wait a minute did she just say they can behoove that from the recording i'm just gonna back up a tiny bit because i need to hear that recording um yes it's my understanding that there is a record recording they were very hush hush about that recording they were very clinical about it it i i, I doubt they're going to release it i think it has some information on it i don't know i don't know um you know, those recordings that we do like on Messenger and stuff, because she called her, her, her family member. And I just, I'm praying to God that they, this is why, <laughs> like, I hate Big Brother, right? You guys know I complain about Big Brother all the time, right? So I hate Big Brother. And um, it, this is like one of those times where like, I hope Big Brother was watching. Like, you know, we had her family on there. They heard the, the scream. I'm hoping it was recorded so at least law enforcement can hear it. Law enforcement has, it's amazing. They have all these different technologies that we don't have or we could never afford to have that helps with noises. They can take down, like, if you heard a bird chirping, they can remove that from the recording. They can isolate all the different sounds and then remove all those sounds so they have a clear uh, hearing, they could they could hear what people are saying after you remove, like say all the cars that are driving, you know, past her. That 
that sound, they can isolate that, remove that. They can amplify the voices, pitch the voices up, clarify. They can do all this massive stuff with their programmings that, again, that we can't afford to have. And they oh, is that what they call? Is that a dry grift? She she needs that sound system she's got on her wish list. Was that like a or dry begging? Dry begging. I think that's what I meant to say. Hmm. Can, they might be able to hear something on that. So this is a situation where I almost hope that the, she was on Messenger, and I almost hope that Messenger, you know, records all this stuff and uh, behind the scenes, you know, Big Brother and all. And I'm hoping that they can get that turned over to um, to law enforcement or, or, or at least have an idea who this person was. But if this kid came from that area, this woman is it has been injured or hurt or being held against her will by somebody very close. It's either that or she's long gone. And this was a bait and switch. And she, they picked her up. And Oh, and I, I did do a video on this as well because bait and switch has to do with economics, not criminal activity so yeah but it's the kid that's where i have my problem it's the kid and it's the kid and him not speaking she could have been followed this all pre -med. yeah you know what snow that is that is uh, that is hard to do that is ultra hard to do. Think about what goes into setting up a person. Like I, like I, I know your schedule. And I so are you speaking from experience, Betty? Is that how you know it's hard to do? So if you didn't hear the comment she read, someone in, in chat had said, maybe someone followed her. And Betty is saying, eh, that would be hard to do. I'm going to set something up to get you. That is a very difficult thing to do. And here is why. Because there are so many variables in your schedule. You know, many of us, you know, after school, after work, it, it, you know, a coworker may say, hey, you know what? Me and the girls are going out. Like even the restaurant, the food. How would they know that she was going to stop for food? And even if she did stop for food, how do they know? She because they were following her, Betty. Like, do you not understand what it means to follow someone? You case them first. You, you, and if they, she was followed from her place of employment, then they know that she stopped for food because they were following her. You dummy. She was going to take it to go versus eating there. And how would they know how long it was going to take her to get her food? Uh, Steph L says, Betty, my child is the little girl. <laughs> but will not ever speak public. Uh, and she will be, but... Will never speak in public, and she'll be six years old. Oh, I've always wondered that. I've wondered that because I oh guess I got her. Shut like, oh, up. She, said, she brightens my day every day, and you know that because that's the only reason why I keep her up there. You know, Betty, that's not where your heart is. Just an FYI. No, but you know what? I and, and even her, it's like you know, if she was walking down the road, you cannot tell me everybody in my chat right now wouldn't have stopped to help a kid. A kid that had no parents on the side of an interstate. For the love of God, if if we are that desensitized, where we just drive by, shame on us. Shame on us. So I'm I'm taking this case very personally because I do. You're taking it very personally. Okay, let's hear why. Let's let's hear why she's taking it so personally believe that this that I, I don't I think she was set up but I don't think they knew who they were setting up you see what I'm saying I think it was it was one of those things where you know I keep wondering how many more people stopped or, or whatever you know and again we're an hour into her live and people have continued to say Betty watch the video play the video the CCTV surveillance video is out play the video no one else stopped. 
based on that video, no one else stopped. And even that, why didn't anybody else call law enforcement? So oh, there's okay. a lot of questions I have. Okay, so you just answered your own question, Betty, in a way, but no one else stopped. But again, that was a question I had. Why did why did no one else call law enforcement? Well, we don't know that they, they didn't. Law enforcement didn't release that fact that I know of. With this case that I'm not answering, maybe somebody in the area can help me answer them. If you're in Hoover and know these questions, maybe maybe you can kind of shed some light on 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 this whole thing yes rowdy so yesterday i had played um well she said yesterday that the the child ran away from home that's that's what she said the toddler ran away from home um shed some light on this entire thing you know so like, for example, I want to know how long it would have taken cop cops to get to that area normally. Did they have any other calls that came in about a kid? Because the reason why I asked that question, you know, maybe even in a different area, not necessarily this stretch of roadway, maybe a different area. Maybe they tried this in a different area and somebody called it in, but maybe it was a guy or maybe it was a couple and they had to go and scoop the kid and take off because they are not looking for couples, they're looking for single females. So we don't know, we need, those are, those are questions I have that are very, very important. How many calls over the last week came in about a child standing somewhere alone without a parent in that community, in that general area? I'm curious about that. Uh, I think it's, let's see, I think it's motherly instincts in us. Um, I asked my husband if he would take a missing child to an adult. He said no. What? That makes no sense. Interesting. Yeah, it's got to be the motherly thing. I, I mean, she did mention she was going to write a book about Kylie Rodney. Or was it Gabby Petito? I can't remember. I can't keep it straight. But... I don't know. Maybe she, maybe this is part of her, her fiction, fiction writing. I believe he picked the time and place <laughs> and would known a woman would, yeah, would stop. And that's kind of what I'm, and, and he would have been looking, think of. Okay. He picked. Oh, you deleted a comment. I don't see anything deleted. True crime dime. Because I can see when comments are deleted on my end and I don't see anything was deleted. Unless it was a... Am I on... Oh, I am on all messages. Oh, okay. That's all right. It was there. I can, you know, it was there for a while. So now I just have to find, okay. That's all right. I've timed out people by accident too. So, and again, welcome everyone for being here. Yes. Um, it was accidentally deleted. I need to figure out, and even me, like, even when I go to scroll on my phone, if I just hit it, the wrong way the menu comes up and that is how i have timed out people by accident and depending on where my finger is i could block someone i could i mean i could do all kinds of things so it's good yes it's fine yeah this would be too elaborate of a plan for it to be specifically to take carly and what criminal that would do this type of crime do any of you know that would give her a ride back to her home um actually it's not there was a case burden of proof and i mean i i'd have to look it up but i know there was a case this was years ago where a girl was abducted and i don't know if they knew the abductor or not but she was brought home 
by her abductor. She was dropped off near her house. And I'm going to make a note because, I mean, it could have been, I mean, I it was years ago. But I agree, like, they, it was 9.30 on a Thursday night. We all saw the, well, Betty would have, if she had listened to chat, she would have played the video and seen for herself. There was a lot of traffic, in my opinion, for that time of night. But then again, it's a lot, it's a much bigger city there in where I live. And it's just like. He knew a woman would stop. Like, that just seems a little bit of a stretch. Because what if it was a trucker that stopped? This big, you know, a big burly dude. Or it could have been, a, you know, a woman truck driver. It could have been anybody. It could have been a police officer. So I feel like that comment is a really big stretch. What about the timing at night? Think about the timing at night. This probably is, you know, it sounds like an interstate. It's like Interstate 459. And many of us live in like, you know, like me, I have I-75 and it's ultra busy, right? Like Cars going all day, every day, doesn't matter, day or night. The road is always being used. But some of these interstates, especially in these rural areas, I'm not saying this area is rural, but in rural areas, are actually two lane highways that they kind of use for the interstate. They're designated as interstate, but they're not really interstate. There's not a whole lot of people that, that drive on them. I don't know if that's the case for this road or not. Okay. So now, okay. So that, that I thought we were going to be watching her clip of the, all right. How do I make this smaller? There we go. Pause. We're going to go. All right. So we have two more slides and then we will wrap this party up. And while we're waiting for girlfriend to get her act together, um, I'm just going to look at chat. Yeah. I-75 runs a long way. And hello, Chronicles of Shady. Welcome. Truth Junkie, hello. If someone was targeting her, it would be a very random shot that she would be the one to stop. Exactly. Is it possible? Yes. Is it probable? No. It would be, like you said, it would be a shot in the dark. Literally a shot in the dark. All right. We're just going to wait. I don't know why this is taking so long. It is raining here again. So that could be why the internet is being even more trashy than usual because it runs under underground. Oh, she's almost ready. All right. She gave us a little bit of a break. In the state of Tennessee, the state troopers have 15 rigs they use to nail people. Really? Hi, Tanya. Welcome. But why in the world would you actually use a child when trying to pick a victim at random on a busy highway? You wouldn't. Her math never maths. Yes, we know that. That would be super dent Oh, that would be a super determined effort to abduct a particular woman on a busy highway. She arranged this herself, in my opinion. I I am not gonna comment on whether or not she arranged it herself or not. I do believe something happened. I just don't, I'm not going to speculate to as what right now, because like I said at the beginning of this live, the important thing is that she's safe. And I know I'm curious to know what happened, but it's not my place to judge because we never know what someone's going through. And, you know, I, I just, I'm just going to refrain from making any speculative speculative remarks. Betty, the ACE researcher, didn't bother to look in the area in the article she read before her live. 
Well, she didn't really read the article runs with scissors. She only, she only read two sentences and I don't even know if the two sentences she read stated where, what well, she did know the highway. She did mention the highway. So, right. Um, but she was so, she was so, um, amped up to be the first person to report this when she was actually a day and a half late. And because she has to watch other people, in my opinion, to get information that she still gets incorrect. So let's see if she's ready to, we'll just, I'll just let her play. She's getting there. Watch it move. Oh, it didn't mean to hit. I burn it. Is it gonna? Ugh, My computer's getting so slow. And actually, I was thinking of because I've seen the heat in the country is obscene. In California, there are wildfires that have started. Canada is still having issues. Europe also has wildfires going on. Like it just seems like there's a lot of environmental catastrophes happening. And so I think I might, I'm going to look into that more just to kind of see, you know, talk about something a little different because I did talk about the, the Canadian wildfires a while back and then I kind of got away from it. But the fact that it seems like there's all kinds of things happening all over the world. So Here's the interstate. Let me move this. And so now we're going to get into map lessons with Betty. Not actually, this is a pretty big interstate. This is not no. Well, usually interstates are Betty. I don't even know where she is because I can't see any. That's a pretty freaking big interstate, guys. <laughs> oh, so she must be in she must be in Hoover then. I'm trying to see the Galleria because that I can pinpoint on the map. Hmm. I don't think she's in the right spot. And it wasn't exit ten, Betty. It was exit eleven. Or no, it was exit ten. It was mile marker eleven. My bad. So I'm looking for exit 10. Now, granted, I don't know if this is exit Gran Ted, Betty. Is Bastille in chat? She's probably she's probably alert now because Betty said Bash's favorite word. It's not granite, Betty. Granted. Exit 10 or not. But if this is exit 10, the police department's right here. How is it now? I, I'm. But it's not exit 10. And just just so that you know, because I know she's looking at exit 13 at this moment in time. She is looking at exit 13. Maybe not. Maybe it didn't. It didn't read me. But it, it, there that is a huge, huge interstate, guys. This is not one lane highway interstate that I was just referring to. This is a. Uh, and if she had looked ahead of time or again, we're over an hour now, people are still telling her about this video. She would have realized that it's a six lane highway, three lanes on each side. Looks like a three lane highway, at least a two lane highway on both sides. This looks like something that would be busy, but I don't know if it would be busy at 930 at night. But here's the library over here and this building right here, right off the library is the police department. Now, I don't again, I don't know if that's the let me see if I can get walkability. Hold on here. I'm see. I'm going down to going down as a person. Let's see. Can I speed? I'm going to speed her up just a little bit because right, this will help me. At least I think it will. 
Okay, no, that's not. Uh, that's 13. 13B. <laughs> so let's keep going down and see if we can find uh, 10. Let's see if we can go this way. Okay, we're going to take it. All right, so that's 13. So we're so no, it, it looks like um, uh, the police department is at exit 13B because they're right. <laughs> She is on the right highway, Tiffany, because I do see I-459. However, I believe she is northbound, not southbound. Right off 13B. And let me go back to the 2D version. Hold on. Okay, so that's exit 13. Let me mark that real quick. Oh, so now we we have a... She's gonna Sorry, pin. To set up the one, so this is be Carly. Okay. She's gonna pin. Oh, she named it Carly. Okay, so we're gonna save the project. This is going to be landmark exit. Oh, 13. okay. So new project exit thirteen. Maybe. There we go. Hey, Heather. Oh, we just gotta find exit ten. So we're not too Love far. Love that name. I see what's in the Hello, Hello B. So let's go back. So there's one. So which one? Yes, John, I did see Gray Hughes's video, well, live about, and I I feel, and this is just my opinion, I believe she is trying to emulate Gray Hughes, and she is failing miserably. Miserably. Which one is this one? This one doesn't even allow people to get off there. I have to go back further. She's still not. Sorry, guys. I, I figure while you're on here, I'm going to have to do this anyway, so I might as well do it you, while you're on here. You should have done it before you're live, Betty. That's what research is. That's being prepared. And, yes, I forgot to look up the Good Samaritan Law because I was doing other things, but I wrote a note. So I'm going to look that up to make sure I know what it is. I always do. Th I always look stuff up before I go live. And you clearly didn't do anything because you didn't even read two sentences of an article. Well, you did read two sentences of sentences of an article, but one was was read incorrectly. All right. You know we're going to speed you up a little bit more, girlfriend, because. Down. Look for the mile markers, Betty. Look for the mile That's markers. 18. So we went further back. Okay, so that means it's up further. So give me just a second. So that's 15. That's exit 13. So it's this way. And I'm I'm assuming, I don't remember, but I know when I was looking at Google Maps, someone in my chat actually told me because they were from Alabama where I don't know. Go. The more we go this way, look how secluded it is. But we do know it's three lanes. But look at all this shrubbery and bushes. <laughs> this is not looking good, guys. So someone in her it. chat is probably so not even looking saying at the comments. it's between this here. place and this place. Whoever or... it is, in my opinion, figured a female worked at night and a possible stop for a child is great. Yeah, but this seems like a big interstate, and there's a lot of houses and stuff around. There's a lot of stuff around here, guys. I mean, I need to find exit 10, but, I mean, look at all these houses. <laughs> John, good comment. Oh my God. This is like if my grandma was trying to show me Google Maps. I actually think, so I actually think our grandparents could probably do a better job. Yes. <laughs> so let me see. Here we go. I think we can go down here. Let me see what exit this one is. I need to find exit 10. Exit 10, right there. Rongo says, wait, she didn't get her evidence together before going live? No, she did not. She hasn't seen the hazard lights video to see traffic on the highway? No, she has not. And I was in chat trolling. And for the past hour, well, I wouldn't say hour, maybe 45 minutes, people in her chat have been saying, show the video. Show the video. Betty, there's a video. Show the video. And nope, nothing. We're at exit 10, guys. So this is right at exit 10. Now, I don't know what side of the road she was on. Do we know if she was heading north or south? She was heading. Oh, my God. 
This is why you read articles before you go live, Betty. Aw, Brianna, you're so sweet. I'm not going to say we don't have room for more than one map master in the true crime. I don't know what D stands for. TCD. But I will say she is nowhere near Gray's mastery. Also, he doesn't use the only the free version of Google Maps for his. Yes. And I would totally agree with you. She is not. She is never going to be at the level of Gray Hughes. And that's my opinion. Right. And so even me, I just, I mean, I was, I just wanted to know the general area. And so I just typed in Galleria, Hoover, Alabama, and it brought me right to where between exit 10 and 11. So I, I don't know what is happening. She was heading east on I-459. <laughs> because I might be on the wrong interstate, but they're, we're at exit 10. <laughs> so let me go ahead and pull this. Who actually, who was it that said, is she actually, is she even on the right highway? So whoever said that, she clearly has ESP because she answered your question. <laughs> Back up. So there's exit 10. Okay, exit 10. So let's look at what's around her. So what in the world is this thing right here? Or this thing right here? Is that the target? She brings up target at some point. Huh. Am, am I crazy to, to, to think that this green veil pediatrics is awfully close to where a child was found? Yes. Betty, you are crazy for thinking maybe that. Cons maybe, I don't know. So it's my opinion that she's going to try and say that the toddler that was seen alongside the interstate ran from the pediatric center onto the highway. Let's go down here into the parking lot. If we can. <laughs> this is. I, can't. I haven't seen this part. I've just heard about it, and is. I heard her talking about Target when I was clipping it. Let me see if I can go backwards. <laughs> so it looks like... Hmm. All the trees, I can't see what it is. Revers? Reavers? R-E... R-E-V... So it looks like a lot of medical stuff is around there. I wonder if that was a hospital. <laughs> Professor Toasty. <laughs> I wonder if that was a hospital. A hospital? Huh. I'm Let's pretty sure it would, oh, you sorry, would be able to tell it was sorry, a hospital, Betty. Just saying. All right. Come on, Betty. You can do it. Oh, we love punchy, Brianna. We love punchy. Oh, okay. So what in the world is this over here? She is still lost on the internet high. Target. Target. Target's right there. How fitting. But burden of proof, I'm pretty sure you would be able to not assume that the toddler ran onto the highway from a pediatric center at 930 at night. So... Oh, thank you, Patches. Yes, Cheese, this really is happening. This is really happening. So, in reality, now that I'm seeing this, I just believe it's some type of ST, guys. I'm telling you, there's just something not sitting right with me, and it has to do with the boy. Now, let's look at this. Now, I'm not saying that this is... It wasn't a boy. We don't know if it was a boy or a girl at this point. And again, at this point, I I think we can safely assume there was no toddler. 
that's just my opinion based on seeing the traffic video and the fact that no one else stopped or that we know of called 911. But yes. And I this is the part I wasn't sure I wanted to show on the live because it does it is it's another 9 minutes of her trying to figure out where it happened. <laughs> But I thought it was important because this is where you need to do your research. It shouldn't take you two hours to present information about someone who is missing and to get the information out that is important. This is just giving a map lesson that has no relevance whatsoever to the case because she's in. She's not only in the wrong spot of the highway, she's also looking at the wrong side of the interstate. This happens. Just looking at this, no good deed goes unpunished. Absolutely, Susie Sue. Uh, she's on the wrong side of the highway. Uh, Mods, can you alert Betty, please? I, oh, no, I was on the wrong side of the highway. I wanted to check to see what, because you, because I, I believe that this child came from the area. So the area, like when you're doing a radius. So I knew I was on the, the side, but I wanted to see what I was looking at. So we have a pediatric and medical type facility on the other side. And on this side of the road for exit 10, we have a Target store. Now, listen to me. Let, just, just bear with me here. Now, if this was some type of... Okay, so Carly is going to speak. It will be on Facebook. Well, unfortunately, I do not have Facebook on my computer, so I will have to watch it later. Or if someone can send the link, I think I can still watch Facebook, even though I don't have Facebook on here. If I have a link, I think I can play it. But I don't... I don't do Facebook on this computer. Okay. Uh, do you know it isn't normal to stay on the phone with 911 and they would give her? Isn't it normal to stay? Yes, it is. Like, and not only that, but 930 at night, but you know, it wasn't an emergency. Emergency. I think it's the difference. You know, when you're in an emergency situation, they keep you on the phone until somebody gets there. But there's been many things that I called in over the years, you know, where they, they've said, okay, well, an officer's, on, an officer's been dispatched. Just go ahead and, and make sure you're in a safe place. Um, you know, in, in emergency type of situations where they need to make sure that the person gets to you, yeah, they will stay on the phone with you. But in a situation where you're in a safe, what you perceive a safe place, now obviously it wasn't safe for her, but a place where you perceive to have a safe, uh, you're in a safe place, you're just sitting there waiting for law enforcement. She's on an interstate, you know, everybody can see you on interstate. Think of how crazy it is to think that this woman was abducted from the interstate, the side of the road on an interstate that, that, that is three roads wide, three roads wide. So now this gives me a different perspective because this would have been an easy way for them to park across the street, set up that little boy there, and then come around and grab her. But I don't, I'm still have. I'm still having a problem with it. Because you're in the wrong part, you're on the wrong part of the highway, Betty. This isn't, this isn't mile marker 11. This isn't even the right exit. And it's the wrong side of the highway. I'm still having a problem with this, but this is not sounding good. This sounds like something different. And, and having that big Target store there, as opposed to the, you know, I was kind of hoping to have a whole bunch of housings. And there is housing further down. Um, and she wasn't right here on top of Target either. You know, this is the exit. And they said she was a little, hold on, sorry, guys. They said that she was just a little uh, before I-10, or um, um, the 10. So here is also a housing area. And this is Shades Mountain Community Park. And this is where a child could literally just cut across through some trees and be standing on the side of the road. So. Still, with both of these things, I, I can't make heads or tails of which which one I want. Somebody knows something. Absolutely, Snow. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I think we can all agree that everybody um, knows something. I'm a little behind, and this may have been talked about already, but why did, didn't dispatch stay on the line until the cops got there? It might have been that they they said, you know, the cops were, she may have said, listen, my, my sister is calling in. Can I call you back? You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't know what the situation is, but I can tell you it's not, it, it, it wouldn't be uncommon in this situation. If they did disconnect on uh, the telephone, I don't think it would have been um, anything out of the ordinary for this type of call. I really don't. Now, granted, um, you know, and this might be another thing for you, for our audience and for people that are watching this on the replay, you know, maybe that is something you need to consider doing is staying. When you talk, call law enforcement, stay on the phone with them. Don't get off the phone with them until you see a patrol car pull up. Um, flash. 
Uh, look on Google Earth by Hoover Lake House and a gazebo. It's a walking path that leads from the next street over to the highway. It's also it also it's also a police station nearby. Yeah, the police station's like nearby. It's only at exit 13, right? So they, I, I clearly saw a police station at exit 13. So this guy's this happened so quickly. I would like to know how long from the time she called to the time her all right so here someone does tell her look on google earth by hoover lake house and gazebo it's a walking path that leads from next street over to highway it's also police station nearby but i don't think the police station was at exit 13 and i don't know how close that is to exit 10 so i mean it could be nearby is relative i think sister heard the scream or her mother heard the scream whoever was on the phone the family member that heard the scream i'd like to know what how much time lapsed from the time she made the 911 call to the time her sister heard the scream because they weren't that far down the road that they couldn't have sent somebody you've got a, a young child walking on an interstate a very large interstate this this interstate's the size of state road 70 um, i-75 here in my county this is a huge highway i wasn't expecting this when i actually looked at this highway and saw um how wide it is this doesn't make sense something happened so and i don't know what it is but it, it stinks to high heaven for me it stinks to high heaven for me. Okay, look Google Earth to the lake house. Okay, let's get over here. Now, I don't know. Should I type? Will they know where the lake house is? Hoover, lake house, and gazebo. Hold on. Well, it is Google. They probably um, know more than you. Okay. Look, she wasn't even in the oh, right so that's, oh, that's down there by exit 13 <laughs> where the police station was. Yeah. Would it be uncommon if this was a setup for somebody to be sitting out here on um, exit 13, the boy um, being on the side of the road, somebody's at a lookout um, either in that complex or at the target saying, hey, uh, somebody stopped, you know, with binoculars. Something like this would be that kind of um, coordinated planned attack when you're when you're looking for somebody to, to, to. Right. So Brianna, she still is ignoring the fact that the the CCTV footage of the interstate has been released. People have been telling her for about an hour now in her chat. ST. Um, I don't know. Trying to type Hoover House and Lake House. Thank you. Thank you, flash, Flashy Lights. I, I did pull it up, but that, that's, they weren't, the police department wasn't that far away. And I think that's even more of a concern for me. So you got a child on the side of the road. You got a woman stopping to help. Um, law enforcement en route, very close in proximity, very close in proximity. Um, I By looking at this, something had to be caught on a camera somewhere. I'm sorry. Um, maybe the, the, I know I have, oh, I know what we can do. I know what might, might be beneficial. I know I have truckers that watch me, big rig truckers. And I know they watch my replay crew. And maybe we need to identify our big rigs. If our big rigs are out here in Alabama and have been in Alabama on Thursday night driving through this area, any other vehicle driving through this area that has audio, um, you know, like cameras on their vehicle. Oh, thank you. Okay, so let me... I, the local news. So is the local news also going to, all right, give me a second. Let me go to, I'm just going to pause her so we can take a break from her nonsense. And what was one of the, so it's ABC. So WBRC is the one that I've been watching. WBRC. All right. I don't see anything on their page yet. So let me go to ABC 33. All right, so if anybody does see it, go live, like a, a local news place. Because do we know what time the mom, did the mom give a time as to when they were going to go live on Facebook? All right, and there's only two more minutes of this clip, so depending on time, um, I can wrap this up after this clip.
I just wondered if there was a time that the mom said they were going to do the interview. Cool. For liability purpose, a lot of people have, have makeshift cameras in their car. They actually have auto, audio cameras now that record everything. And it's just in case there's an accident, something happens. People are on, you know, people record everything this day and age. So how old is a child? Three or four years old. So a very, a, very, a, a, chi a child of that age could be very well manipulated, okay? Not know they're doing anything wrong. They're used as fake. God knows what this child has already gone through. It doesn't sound good in my opinion. It doesn't sound good, but we have a lot of big rigs. And the reason why I'm calling out the big rigs is because I know that they have cameras. I know most of our, our buses have cameras all the way around them. So like um, uh, the Greyhounds and stuff like that, they're equipped with exterior cameras. We need to find people that were traveling through this area, check my spot, that were traveling through this area at this. Oh, so now this is where she finally decides. So now she's listening to a mod, check mod squad, which is her like group chat or whatever the heck she has. And so now we only have about a minute. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to end this clip. We're going to watch the rest of this and then I'll wrap things up and then uh, burn into proof. If you want to try that, I'll come over to your panel and we'll see if we can, if I can stream it, we can try it out. I've never done it before, but um, if there's something I need to make sure that I have in settings so that I can share, let me know and I'll, I'll, figure that out before, but that way we can just, I'll just, well, I'll come over to your page and watch it together. This time that might've captured something on their, their car video and audio, their car video and audio. Oh, here we go. Guys, give me just a second. All right, let's, this up. let's see what we can get. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's see. Look at her. She's so official. Type, 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 type. Ice cream. Back in the day. All right. There we go. So, all right. So just make sure you have a live going. So I have to set up a live. Is that what you mean? So I set up a, oh, oh, I don't have to be live already. Okay. Perfect. All right. So we'll figure it out. I crack you up. That's good because I think I'm pretty funny myself. Um, yes. Yeah, so I'm going to end this up just because I have gone just over my two hours. Usually, you know, I only like, I do two hours, but, um, I felt this was important. So again, to all of you, I super appreciate you being here and I'm glad I went live because I got to see some things I didn't see when I was watching Betty yesterday. And so everybody, uh, burn into proof. If you would put your link in the chat. Um, actually, you know what, hang on, I'm going to add you as a moderator so you can do that. Um, if you would put your link in the chat, so everybody, um, definitely, oh, thank you, Stephanie or Steph, I should say, um, everybody follow me over to burden of proof. And although I guess, I guess what you're saying is I could stream it to my page. We'll figure it out. Either way, if you don't see me live with it, definitely head over to burden of proof and we will be covering the statement by Kaylee's parents and possibly Kaylee. So I just want to thank Brianna again for your super chat. I really do appreciate it as do the kittens because they're going to need treats very soon and <clears throat> I need to actually remember to order them. So an Till next time, y'all, I hope you have a great rest of your day. And until then, I will see you all on the flip side.